And, and the, I think that's what we also need here. We need uh, to develop the basketball league. Do you agree? Yeah, but I think the, the, the Nigeria's basketball is, is developing, you know, it's developing, you know, and I just think, you know, um, you know, from being there, like uh, watching the players, some of the young players, it's developing, you know, you have a lot, we have a lot of talent in Nigeria, and we also have a lot of great, great athletes who just want to get better, who are willing, who want to learn. Um, I think it's developing, you know, and, and anything, it takes time. So mm. we're just going to continue just to strive any way that, you know, any, any of us can give back and help the young ones, the youth, you know, that's what, that's what I, you know, that's what we will do. But I think it's developing. I think mm. it's developing in Nigeria. I agree with you, and I pick one word, it's times, but we need to be consistent. Uh, and the winning the Afro basket is beautiful, yeah. uh, but going right. to the World Championship comes with a different challenge. What sort of mindset uh, do you think, uh, do you want the d Tigers to use and going to Spain? We, we honestly we have to have the same mentality you know we just you know every game every time we step on the floor, floor we want to give it our best you know we're representing our country we represent ourselves we're representing our families but you know we just want to give it our best you know um we're going to be playing against some some top level amazing athletes but it's not something that you go and start getting intimidated we're all great top level athletes ourselves so we it's, it's important for us to go into the world to be uh the world championships confident and believing in you know what we like we're believing in our, our, our teammates and you know believing in our coaching staff and believing in who we are and i think we'll be successful you know and it all starts with us and our mindset and and, and, and being confident hmm. i think i like that indeed madu we must say thank you so much for your time all the best thank to your club career uh but when you wear that green white green jersey for nigeria become the beast now we see Thank you. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you. So that's it. The Tigress power forward in the Madu uh, bringing us up to speed women's basketball in the country. Y you see, um, she left the United States of yeah. America. Mm -hmm. She's playing in Angola. She doesn't have any problem. They have developed their basketball. Yeah, absolutely. Angola has always been one of the top t top teams in Africa. You know, long you know long for a very long time. You look at the economy, buoyant economy, one of the top in terms of per capita income and in terms of funding too. Their basketball has been doing very 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 well. And there's a place for Inter Club. Of, uh, of Angola, and I'm sure the salary there is massive compared to what we, you know, we have here. Mm. We definitely have the talent yeah. here, but, but the issue is the organization. Mm. You know, if only we can get it right, the, the, the deadline is looming, the FIBA deadline so is looming. So again, leadership, you know, leadership, leadership. Those are the things, yeah. organization. There's a lot that has to, we have to, do. look at the way we just went back to back, you know, we, 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 we the, the Tigers and now the, the, tiger, uh, the, the Tigress as well. You know, it shows that we have the depth, we, we have the talent, but we so are not no organized. Problem. I hope we get yeah. it right. And everything, sadly, Joseph, everything rises and falls on leadership. Yeah, that's so what it we'll does. Get it right there. We we'll continue to struggle. Absolutely, and we are here too at the moment as we speak. And in spite of that, our team has been doing very well. Mm. You know, it's quite a miracle. At times, I feel our sports, you know, uh, our sportsmen need to write, you know, a book on how to <laughs> to succeed in They've spite of. In, spirit. in spite of, you know, you can imagine mm. what happens if our authorities are we are able to get the organization right. We'll be world beaters. And, 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 and I'm quite happy that they are going to Spain. Mm. I just hope they will have the mm. opportunity of mm. it boils down to organization playing friendly games testing their strength against top teams you cannot test your strength against yourself test your go and play top teams that are better than you so that you can learn a note and just the way nigeria is doing now with argentina we have a lot mm -hmm. we are going to learn from mm -hmm. playing games like mm -hmm. that they should also organize top great friendly games yeah. for these ladies mm -hmm. before they go to the world championship not go there and then meet the best just there and then at the end if they, they might get and you and, know, no, let us test our strength and learn something are standing by to say oh so it's african championship they can't you, 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 you you're forgetting that you got to prepare them you to, there's a lot of organization that goes into a mm. team excelling in tournaments. You've got to prepare them. If you just throw them out there with, with the best, they would have issues. That's right. Yeah. Totally agree with you. So thank you once again, Didi Madu, for talking to us. And uh, you can also um, send us messages um, as regards what she talked about, how to develop at the Basketball League in Nigeria. And of course, the World Championship, that they need to go there with the right mentality. Yeah. And, uh, you know what that means. Everything must be top now. Let's talk football now. Super Eagles forward. Victor Moses, you know him. He plays for Chelsea Football Club of England. And defender William Trust Ekong plays for Buzzer Sport. Uh, have been nominated for the 2017 African Footballer of the Year Award. Fantastic news right there. Other notable nominees in the 30 man list include Prayer Emerick Obama Young, of course. He's from Gabon. Egypt's Mohamed Salah, that is on fire. Uh, Cameroon goalkeeper Fabrizio. 
Rwanda, uh, on Doha, uh, Senegalese for Sadio Mane and Christian Atsu of Ghana. Uh, it's a long, it's long, long list of we have 32. Mm. Yeah, you know, at the end of it, it will be prone down to three, wow. the way it has always been done. And uh, I do believe that the uh, two own was quite a surprise. Yeah. He's on Twitter to, to celebrate it. He said, honor to be nominated for African Player of the Year, representing Nigeria to, together with at Victor Moses. Mm. You know, he's a great player. He was in Ghent last season. And uh, this season, his career played. has been on a Exactly. He's 15 right. caps since he, he first played for Nigeria against Chad, you wow. know, in 2015. And he's been doing very well. And uh, I mean, I'm quite surprised, really. This season, he's played 10 games. He scored twice for his club, Bozaspor of Turkey. And uh, I mean, I never saw it coming, but it's been a pillar, you know, from the pillar, what we call Oibo. Or you bow with Balo. But this and, uh, should worry you. Yeah. The African player of the year based in Africa. About three years running now. We've not had any Nigerian. <laughs> For obvious reasons, trust him. Uh, I don't think we should complain you're about that. About obvious reasons. Yeah, I don't obvious know. reasons because quite our teams on the continent have gone out as if as if their teams like representing Chad or you know Seychelles. What do you expect? So we 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 are even at, at risk of losing some of our, you know. Respect, not just respect in terms of seeding you know, that we might get in, in future tournaments. But I do believe that we have a lot to do. We, we know that uh, we don't have the players, even the team that has really done well on the continent. So it, it is expected. I mean, the, the, it is players from the Mamelodi Sundowns of this world, Tipi Mazembe's, that would always, you know, dominate. But of course, this thing is tied to continental, you know, uh, performance. I and know. if you don't perform well at the continent, uh, they can't come to Plateau and pick, uh, you know, come to MFM. and It, it, it has to go beyond that. Exactly. You have to show up at the continent. That's right. So, uh, good one, uh, Victor Moses and Trust Econ, but uh, we need our players to start making yeah. the African player base in. Uh, well, so let's go on this final break now. When we come back, more messages dropping on Twitter. I will take your comments. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. <laughs>